Good morning, friends. It is a Saturday morning, and I'm getting ready to do my janitorial work here. Just got done with my engine check, figured I'd smoke me a part of a bowl, go back to work. Anyway, for housekeeping this morning, I have my Peterson. And a uh, nice little pipe, in case you're wondering. Little P lip. And in it this morning, I am running Mac Baron 7C's original or white. Not bad stuff, honestly. But, uh, yeah, kind of a cloudy day today. A little bit gray and dreary. But there are some blue spots in the sky, for what that's worth. Temperatures are falling, and the door is shutting on tourist season. You can definitely tell it in the amount of business the entire town is doing. Most of the people coming through right now are on their way out. They're uh, they're heading back home, getting ready to end their vacation and start their work again. It was really nice, however, to have a pretty much pretty close to normal tourist season rather than what it's been like the last three years during lockdowns and uh, you know borders wide open it's been really nice it was desperately needed you know at least for this state Within the next couple of weeks, probably even the miners who are back in the hills are going to start coming out and getting ready to head home, you know. Most of them just go up, they do their mining during the summertime. Whether they're from Alaska or the lower 48, they go back home in September. Because things start getting pretty damn cold up there right about September because that's a much higher elevation. And they're back in valleys and whatnot with the creeks and streams and rivers and yeah it gets cold man most of them don't even have cabins you know they just sleep in tents and it gets uncomfortable You wake up in the morning with a hard frost and you start wondering if you're going to get back out. Especially since most of those folks, they'll take everything back there in the spring, you know, late spring when they come up here, and then they remove it all so it doesn't get stolen uh, during the fall. So they got to make multiple trips back to wherever their camp is. And if you wake up to a good solid hard frost or worse yet a light snow even if you know that snow is going to go away you start wondering if you're going to get out so round about september usually the middle of september they're all piling out of there they're like oh hell no <laughs> so they come out they head home hopefully a little bit more wealthy than when they left or when they went back there. And things start winding down for the season. 
it's to be expected and in a lot of ways it's kind of a relief you know but in some ways it's not good because you know what's coming next and that's that white crap that falls from the sky <laughs> Yes, sir. Season is winding down. The mine, however, is almost done with the roads and all of that. They expect to be pulling ore by October, late September, middle of or beginning of October, which means there'll be a lot of truck traffic rolling through. The thing that confuses me about the ore hauling is I've seen day cab trucks. That don't necessarily make much sense. Unless they intend for their people to go home every night. I don't know. Hard to figure. Hard to figure. Who knows? Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't even work there. <laughs> but with any luck, we'll get some of those truck drivers stopping and coming in for food. You know what I'm saying? Or coffee. Or both. Who knows? But I think it'll be end up being a pretty good day and pretty good year, you know. Already it's it's shaping up to have been a very, a very good year. But like every you know, you start trying to incorporate new things and remodel, especially remodel, that's expensive as hell. Um, stuff like that, you start looking at your, your finances and your income looks fantastic and your bank account, not so much. <laughs> so you're like, hey, where'd it go? Oh yeah, I'll look here at the walls at all the wood that I've put up building walls and insulation and everything else okay I know where it went <laughs> she's been paying into uh, kind of prepaying uh, the local fuel company to build up a little bit of a, a surplus of funds so that if we get into some sort of a uh, issue with our finances we can still maintain fuel in the shop you know which is a smart idea I should know next year 
is going to be really rough in terms of uh, the heating system because I've got to trade out boilers next year and boilers in the basement and that's going to be a little bit tough because those boilers are heavy as shit I'm going to put the same one in there that I got in my house you don't get any better than that so I'm going to make sure that Top of the line, baby. Top of the line. The boiler I got in my house is like the Cadillac of boilers. Alright? Super efficient. Super efficient. And the way I set up a heating system you know once once my permanent heating system is in which I'm gonna be working on out at the house this year too I'm gonna to get my normal heating system in that I'm gonna have from now on once I get that done, where I have individually thermostatted uh, heat loops running through the different sections of the house, my fuel usage will go way down. And when I say way down, I mean it'll go at least 30% down. So, in a 3,000 square foot house, 800 gallons should last me the entire winter, without fail. I mean, and that's without anybody being there all day long, you know, from morning till late at night. Can't argue with that. I can't argue with talking long enough to let my pipe go out though yes sir I'm kinda of the mind at the moment that this winter is gonna be alright you know, I definitely, as you can tell behind me, and have been able to tell for a while, I need to spend a few hours this week and actually deep clean this vehicle so it's presentable on the inside and outside for that matter. Because I usually go about a year between real cleanings. Because I just don't have time. If I have the time, it's once at the beginning of the summer, once at the end of the summer. But I think it's going to be a fairly decent winter, you know. Make the best of it, you know what I'm saying? And I think we might just take a couple months off if we can swing it. Just shut things down, 
I might do some work in there in terms of the remodel or improving the current situation in terms of mechanical but mostly just work on my house do a bit of relaxing it's been earned that's a fact we've been working seven days a week except for couple of times we had to take off and go somewhere yep I am swiftly approaching the bottom of my bowl. Which means I'm going to have to get to work. Here right shortly. So, love y'all. Take care. I'm out.